Well, Ryan, belated welcome to Bristol Rovers. Thank you. Uh, the, uh, the signing came last Friday. Uh, too soon for you, too late, sorry, for you to uh, be in the squad for Saturday. But um, how did it come about, the move? Yeah, no, it was one um, just out of the blue, really. I mean, it was, um, I was just training with Stoke on um, the Friday. Um, and then the 21s managers pulled me and just said that I'll be going to Bristol from the start of next week. And then I signed the papers and it was just went from there, really, yeah. Pleased to get out and, and get some games. Yeah, no, I'm really, really excited to be fair. I mean, coming into a, a good side um, that's done really well the last couple of seasons to get promoted. Um, you know, it's a good set of boys down there, good um, good quality in the squad. So hopefully I can just uh, get some games and help the team out, really. And you played against Rovers, of course, last season, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, no, it was, um, it, it was obviously a um, good result for Rovers, obviously, but... No, I mean, the crowd was um, fantastic that night. Um, that's what I'm looking forward to playing in front of a good set of fans, you know. And um, like I said, hopefully I'll get some games under my belt and um, it'll be a good experience for me. You, you were at Wimbledon a long time, weren't you? Uh, what, from a schoolboy? Yeah, right yeah, I was you? there. I was there from about seven, eight, right through to mm. when I was 18, 19. Um, and I moved to Stoke in the summer. Um, but... Yeah, no, obviously, I've um, got some good friends down there, um, like the coaching staff are still uh, keep in touch with. So, um, yeah, no, it's a great club. So, um, obviously, if we um, look forward to be playing them soon, anyway. Well, well, and they got promotion as well last season, of course. Yeah, yeah, no, it was um, it was a great season, to be fair. I mean, you know, we had a, we had a good set of uh, players down there. Um, it was good to get a little run as well, you know, help, um, help be part of that promotion. So, no, it was a great season for the club. The move up then to, to Stoke into Premiership. Does that mean you've been playing development football? Or, or yeah, no. It's been um, been playing um, the the um, under twenty threes this season, um, but obviously like during the week you train with the first team, so you know it's a it's like a different world. Like training with like Premiership players that you're just used to watching on the telly. So so in terms of that, you know it's been um, really good for my development um, playing with that sort of calibre of player. So um, obviously now I think I thought it was um, the right time to try and get out and. Further my development in a in a good league. So so half a season at Stoke. I mean, how do you feel your game has improved by training with those? I think players? I think um, League Two. I think it's more of a um, you know you get set up for more of a physical battle um, and defending. Whereas once you step into the sort of like Premier League side, you can see the defenders are like maybe like a bit more technical and they can pick a pass more. So I think that's just something um, I'm looking to work on. Um, you know, I think I can come and dominate, but I think that's another part of my game where I've got to um, improve, just maybe picking a pass out a bit better. But um, that's what I'm here for, you know, to take it into a into a proper game where there's three points on the line every Saturday. Yeah, that, ma that makes a difference, I guess, the, the sort of keener edge to a game when there's something on the end of it. Yeah, no, I mean, um, obviously the development, you want to win them sort of games, but obviously it's... It's for you to try and push into the first team, but now when you come here, you're kind of chucked into the, the first team fold. So that's what I'm here like to play for three points, and um, hopefully we can um, pick up as many as possible. Yeah. I guess uh, being in Stoke, you, you you look at the, the Premiership players there, and you you feel you do need game to to make that step or transition to try and get in there first team. Yeah, I think you know the the biggest thing is probably the um, the intensity on the um, in the first team games. Really, I mean. You know, 23s, I think it's a bit more like tippy tappy football, whereas like this is, you know, they put it down your throat a bit more and you have to defend a bit more. So, no, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, to be fair. So, position wise, where can we expect to see you play? Anywhere along the back line or is it central? I'm more of a centre off, to be fair. So, um, you know, I've been playing left of a three, back three, but, you know, I'd like to be in the middle of a, of a back four or middle of a three. So, yeah. Yeah, and uh, obviously. Plenty of games to come from now to the end of the yeah. season. I think 18 left, starting Saturday with a tasty local derby. Yeah, no, I think um, this is probably a good one to come into, to be fair. Um, but no, no, um, no. If the if the gaffer pick chooses me for the game, I'll be ready. You know, I've been I'm fit and ready to go whenever he needs me. Did you know anyone at the club before you came there? Um, no, no, I'm, oh, I don't know. Do you know one? Yes, I don't know anyone like that. But it seems to be an easy dressing room to fit into. I mean, they make yeah. it so working. Yeah, no, they have. Um, there's some, um, just from a first thing, until there's a couple of characters in there. So, so no, I'm looking forward to getting to all know them and um, just kicking on, really. Yeah, and obviously, there's been a bit of a dip in form. One of, one of the things that um, they found difficult to do is keep clean sheets this season. And I, I guess as a defender, that's one of your yeah. priorities. Yeah, I mean, that's the first thing. I think <clears> keeping a clean sheet for defenders is probably like scoring a goal. For an attacker, so that's that's what um, that's what we're here for to keep clean sheets. And hopefully, 
when I play, I can keep as many as possible. And then I, I assume communication between yourself, the back line and the goalkeeper is important as well. And there's three, three new players, you're one of three to come in, the goalkeeper yep. being one of them. So is, is, that bit, is that something you work on in training? Today? Yeah, no, I think it was something um, we worked on yesterday, I think. Um, you know, speaking to the coaching staff is something that they want to keep building up to for the, the game on Saturday. So I think, I think it's easy. Like I think, once you're a defender, that's like part of you, like talking, communicating stuff. So I don't think it'd be a problem, but it's something that we're working on. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess your your League Two experience comes into play with Rovers. I know it's upper division, but at least you've had experience of playing it. To yeah. Level. Yeah. No. Um. To, I was I was in the squad um most of the last season anyway, so like I know what um it takes to play in the in League Two, but I know it's a step up, but. I feel I'm confident in myself that I can I can go and do it. So hopefully, um, starting with this Saturday, we can pick up three points. Just to ask you about your international, you haven't got an Irish accent, so where's the <laughs> Irish connection? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, like my um, my dad's side were all Irish, so I thought it was a path maybe I could take, and then lucky enough it come about. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there'll be people saying that like I'm not I'm not actually Irish, but I do, I do play for them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean you you you. Come from around the Wimbledon area, don't yeah. Kingston Town. Yeah, yeah, no, it's been all um, it's all local for me. To be fair, the Wimbledon, the Wimbledon part. So that that was good. Um, but I thought you know getting the move to Stoke and then it helps you like grow as a person as well, moving away from home. So so coming here as well helps to further my development. Yeah. Stoke's fans are, are renowned for their, I think their vocal attributes. Yeah. Like Britannia and our Rovers fans. You played at the Mem, so you know what Rovers fans are like. You must be yeah. looking forward to that. Yeah, no, I'm I'm really excited for it. Now, obviously, like I said, like last season we played there on a Tuesday night and it was, the ground was packed. So yeah, it was really lively, and I'm really excited for it.